Hi, this is Tomoko Iwakawa. And David Atkinson with City National Foreign Exchange, and this is Global Perspectives. With the end of the World Cup and the much-debated Trump-Putin summit this week, we thought it'd be interesting to take a look at how we in the U.S. and the world perceives Russia. And if you look at Russia purely on the economic side, it's not really all that big. Uh, we provide a, a chart here, which is a simple comparison of the top 20 countries in the world by GDP. And what you see here is that the U.S. is roughly 12 times larger than Russia. The Eurozone is about eight times larger than Russia as well. And to sort of bring it home, Russia's GDP produces about 60 percent of what California produces. And it's also about roughly the same size as New York. Uh, all in all, Russia only produces about 2 percent of the world's GDP. Now, before we get too far from the World Cup, I have to, you know, send a shout out to Croatia. You know, this is a team that got into the final. Uh, a, a country of just under 4.3 million in terms of population, and they provide just one-tenth of one percent of the world's GDP. But hey, they make great soccer players. Mm -hmm. Anyway, back to Russia. Why is it that we perceive them in so that really such a larger light considering what the economic realities are? Yeah, well, that's a good question, which leads to our view. Well, clearly it starts with a history with this country. The Soviet Union, or the USSR, evolved as an ideological confrontation against capitalism and democracy. And the U.S. is perceived as the epitome of these values. When you take a look at the map, also the Russian Federation looks a little bit imposing. But secondly, the fact that Russia holds on par the level of nuclear weapons with the U.S. makes them an equal superpower. And that's important because Russia is perceived to be militaristically aggressive, too. So to tie everything together, if Russia does not pose an economic threat to the world, but their economy starts weakening further from the current levels, does that mean that Russia will become more militaristically aggressive? Now, that's a question that we always have to keep at the back of our minds when we talk about the U.S.-Russian relationship. Thank you very much and have a great day. And be sure to subscribe to our newsletters at cnb.com forward slash subscribe. Thank you.